What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Shadow Fight Arena video. Today we're going to take a look at some of the top tips and tricks that will help you stay ahead in the game. Make sure you watch this video until the end so you don't miss out on any of the awesome tips and tricks. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. Without wasting more time, let's get this party started. Tip number one, movement and spacing. This is the most important skill of any shadow fight game. Being able to move properly is going to help you stay ahead of the game. If you can recognize the correct spacing required between you and the enemy, you will be able to stay away from the line of fire as well as execute nasty counter attacks on the enemy. As you can see right now on the screen, this is a demonstration. I am trying to stay away from the enemy by just moving. To move properly, you need to familiarize yourself with all the buttons of the game so you can know what to press at the exact moment. So here we dashed behind, roll backwards, learn how to roll, flip, dash, walk, all that stuff. If you can figure them out, you're gonna stay ahead of the game. You can control your character by using the joystick on the left side of the screen. Try single pressing, double pressing or pressing and holding the joystick. You're gonna see all the different moves. It's going to take you some practice to understand how to stay away from the enemy. Movement and spacing is important. Next tip. Tip number two, jumping off the wall. Only the Heralds and the Dynasty can jump off the wall. Unfortunately, the Legion characters cannot do this. I don't know why, but only Dynasty and Heralds can jump. Try to add this type of skill to your fighting. Make sure you time the enemy properly and just use the wall to jump behind them. This skill can be very useful if you know how to execute it. It only works for Dynasty and Heralds, not Legions. Tip number three, never ever give up. Make sure you do as much damage as you can before you leave the field. If you know that you're going to get defeated, use your skills to do a lot of damage so you can prepare your next character. Some of the characters in the game can give you a second chance. So take advantage of that. Do as much damage as you can before you leave the field. The more damage you can do, the better. Make sure you punish the enemy. Do as much as you can before you leave. This is gonna prepare your next character so they can have an easy match. Next tip. Tip number four. When you fight the fire guard, you need to approach with caution, especially when he's about to die. If you see that his health is low, do not use a special move. Otherwise, he's gonna take a lot of your health. In the new update, when both of you lose a match, I mean when both of you die, you end up losing your characters. Nobody wins, you both lose. So remember that, when you fight fire guard, use single attacks when he's about to die or just use your ranged weapon. Tip number five, protecting yourself after being thrown down like a bag of rotten sandwich. There are many ways you can do this to protect yourself. Press and hold the left or the right joystick to roll away from the enemy. Once they throw you down, you see the throw coming, press the left joystick or the right joystick, that's gonna roll you away. Another way to protect yourself is to press and hold the kick button. When the enemy drop you down, just press and hold the kick button and you're gonna kick out. Another different way also is to press the down button on the left with the kick button, you're gonna do a counter kick, just like that. Protect yourself, roll away or kick out. Tip number six, dodging shadow attacks. Do not be afraid when you see characters that like to use their shadow attacks. All you have to do is just be patient. Keep a good distance, take a look at the shadow attacks and try to dodge them with the joystick on the left. Each and every shadow attack in the game can be dodged. Tip number seven, choosing the right characters for maximum victory. Do not just pick characters because they look nice or you like a specific move from their skill set. Instead, 
pick characters who know how to counter all the other characters in the game. The team you see on the screen right now are probably the best. They know how to counter pretty much everyone in the game. Kate and Azuma are excellent at dealing with enemies that like to use shadow attacks. Make sure you have at least one of them on your team. Mr. Ling is the one character in the game that can counter pretty much anyone. You must have Ling on your team at all times. He can deal with the Legion and Interruption Interval. He can pretty much deal with anyone in the game. Kate and Azuma, excellent for shadow attacks. Make sure you think twice before you pick your characters. If you pick the right team, you're going to dominate everyone in PvP. So now we are done with some of the tips and tricks for the game. Let us get into a simple match and see one of the characters in action. I am going to be using Mr. Ling. He is the character who can pretty much counter everyone. The good thing we are fighting an enemy with Dynasty, Herald and Legion opponent. So take a look at how Mr. Ling alone can handle all the three factions in the game. If you have any other tips and tricks, comment them down below in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this in the future. So right now we are taking a look at the skills of Mr. Ling. As you can see, he has a glowing critical strike that is excellent at countering pretty much any enemy. Some of the annoying characters in this game are the Legion characters. They have the uninterruptible interval that's very difficult to deal with. So if you have someone like Ling on your team, you can pretty much take out all of them. Like I said, if you have some tips, comment them down below. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Let's continue using Mr. Ling, one of the greatest characters in the game. Some people even say he is the best of the best. What do you guys think? Comment your favorite characters, comment the best characters. What type of team would you use to fight in PvP? Comment your best team in the comment section so that more people can know what to pick. Let's do a summary of all the tips and tricks that we have talked about in this video. The first one was correct movement and spacing. If you know how to move and if you know how to figure out the right spaces, you will be unstoppable. You can do crazy wrestling moves, you can dash behind your enemies, you can troll them, just learn the movement and the spacing, everything is gonna become easy for you. The other tip is also jumping off the wall. You can do this if you have the Dynasty and Herald characters. They can jump off the wall. That skill is a little bit dangerous, but if you know how to execute it, it's gonna look nice. Plus the enemy will be like, what the hell just happened? The other tip is when you fight the fire guard, do not rush your attack, especially if he is about to die. In the new update, if both of you lose, I mean if both of you die, both of you lose your characters. So you need to be on the lookout. The other tip is if you know you're gonna die, make sure you take out as much health as you can from the enemy. Do not just give up, keep fighting. Do a lot of damage before you leave. Another tip is protect yourself after a wrestling move. Press the left or the right joystick to roll away or just do a counter kick. All of these skills are going to be helpful in PvP. What's the other tip that we talked about? Do not panic when you see enemies with shadow attack. Every shadow attack in this game can be evaded. Just be smart take your time and use the right moves. The final tip of this video was choosing the right type of characters. Don't just pick them because they look nice or have like a specific skills that you like. Pick characters who can help you win matches. Pick characters that will help you do crazy counter attacks during the fighting. If you do that, you will stay ahead of the game. So those are some of the tips and tricks for the Shadow Fight Arena. In the future, I'm going to be adding more. I mean, I'm going to make another tips and trick video in the future. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. If you have some tips and tricks, comment them down below. Thank you guys for watching. Until then, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.